Hello everyone and welcome back to Weekend Cartoon Reviews and sorry Amphibia is taking so long to upload. You see, copyright is not doing so well with me right now. So what I'm gonna do is for that when it comes out, I'm gonna record I record the reaction. I'm just gonna put a Google Drive link in the description explaining why. Not of this video, but for the next video. That's what I'm just gonna do. Alright, anyway. Onto the review. We're gonna be reviewing Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Now okay. What I have to say about the movie is it's definitely better than I expected. So Chippendale Rescue Rangers, it's about them. Like, like, the movie, it's very, very meta, is what I gotta really say. I'm just gonna get that out of the way now. It's very meta. There's a lot of references in it, a lot of cameos, and apparently it's supposed to be a celebration of animation. There's one problem I have with that, to be honest. The thing I don't understand is, if this is supposed to be a celebration of animation, like, this is just a minor nitpick from me, personally, but where's SpongeBob? He's like... A staple of animation, isn't he? I mean, you have The Simpsons. I mean, no, they own The Simpsons, but you got South Park in there. And Randy doesn't really do anything, so... If there is a Spongebob reference that I'm missing or something, just please let me know. But yeah, like, they have Ash in the background. They have My Little Pony. They have Ugly Sonic. <laughs> yes, they have Ugly Sonic in this movie. <laughs> Alright, all right, so... They also um, make fun of a lot of tropes you see in movies like the twist villain trope. That was good. And the fact that they reference Peppa Pig and Paw Patrol. See, they reference Nickelodeon stuff, so I don't see why they didn't put Spongebob in this. But they have Jimmy Neutron, too. <gasps> Enough about that, though. So, the comedy, most of it works. A good chunk of it works. Like, I mean, the whole comedy isn't just reference after reference after reference after reference, because that would get tedious. I'm glad this was something that I wasn't expecting it to be. And yeah, it, it was a fun movie. I mean, the villain of the movie, it's Peter Pan <laughs> as a crime lord. <laughs> and he wants to bootleg cartoons. He, like, bootlegs them is the best way I can put this. He has some bootlegger machine or something. And the cartoon characters are forced to make bootlegs. And yeah, the Valley Game that Gang, they make fun of all these different animation art styles, like the Uncanny Valley, something. Yeah, and like Peter Pan's got like some polar bear sidekick, <laughs> and some other like dude who looks like Thor. I know it's not Thor. I forget his name, but he kind of looks like Thor. And they ref they put Shrek in this. There's just a lot of characters I see in this that <laughs> I, I wouldn't expect to see in other in anything Disney related. I do recommend watching it with all the styles and everything, and I, like I said, I do enjoy the movie, and I'm surprised that critics are eating this movie up. Like, I mean, I think it's mo mainly because of the references, though, let's be honest, probably, but the story itself, it, like I said, everything in this movie is very meta, and I can't stress enough how meta this movie is, because it's just that meta. <laughs> And, like, it's a world of cartoons, like, live where all the cartoon characters are actors. And yeah, it's just fun. It's fun to watch. I mean, it's not, like, my favorite movie out there. Definitely not. I mean, it's not one of my favorite movies. It's not something I'd re-watch over and over again, but I did have a lot of fun with it. It's a fun movie. It's not, like, as fun as the bad guys or anything, or... Um, saying a bit of Harmony, Bell, Turning Red, any really good movie I watched this year, it's not as fun as that. It's not as fun as, like, or even Sonic 2. But yeah, Ugly Sonic. I can't get over the fact that Ugly Sonic is in this movie. <laughs> Alright, but that's about it. Bye, everyone.